Hey everyone, this is Nick. Uh, I just want to do a quick tutorial um, on items moving around in a circle. Um, not the most exciting thing in the world, um, but it's something that I just had to do for a video. Um, I think I'll definitely use it again. Um, pretty useful when displaying a lot of different kind of icons and you want them to remain right side up while spinning in a circle. Um, kind of thing and I'll just show you what I mean right here so this is the video and these guys right here just spinning around but I wanted them to remain right side up um, the whole time kind of like a ferris wheel so that's what I'll call it I'll call it the ferris wheel effect pretty cool um, anyway so I found a pretty easy way to do this um, using expressions and uh, yeah, let's just, let's just get started. I'll show you how I rigged it up and then we'll just do it from scratch. Um, so let's check it out. So here's, here's the pre-comp from my video. And, and what I did here, just to run you through it, um, I created a null in the center. I kind of like placed these around in a circle and then I put a null right in the center. Um, then I rotated the null using an expression, uh, time times 25, it could be whatever really. Um, then I parented these icons to the null, uh, and, and so, you know, they'll all rotate around it, but, you know, if you just stop there, they're going to rotate, but kind of go upside down and, and and that's just not no good you want them to remain right side up so what I had to do was take the rotation of these and make it negative what the null was at the same speed and the way I did that was create another expression um, that linked the rotation of the icon to the rotation of the null and then I added a uh, times minus one negative one at the end of it which would give the exact opposite value so uh, it's pretty cool uh, it leaves these icons completely independent so I can you know kind of bounce them around and pop them out and it's not affecting this kind of motion if I wanted to speed up I just have to make this a higher number uh, so times 250 it's going really crazy and if I wanted to reverse it I just make this a negative value and then it's going, you know, the opposite way. So that's the basic principle. If you get it, uh, you could drop off now. I'm just going to kind of set it up from scratch. Uh, so that's just create a new composition. 500 by 500. I'm going to just create the icon. Uh, something really simple, just like a shape with a stripe. Uh, so you can tell which direction it is, obviously. Uh, so circle here let's make it a nice color and then let's just do a rectangle and I want to want another shape layer so let's shrink it down so it's kind of like you know, a billiard or something. And I click this transparency button that way it's kind of using the transparency of the bottom layer. And then if I make this smaller, it's gonna. All that really doesn't matter. Uh, whatever way you need to do to make a circular icon of some sort, and that's not just a solid color, so you can tell the direction of it is fine. And that's fine. So I will just call this icon. All right. So let's make a new composition. I'll make it. Um, let's just do do 1080 24, and I'll make it 10 seconds long. All right. So the first thing I want to do is create a, sort of a guide for this um, 
for this path that we're going to make. Uh, simply a guide. It, you know, you don't need to keep it. Uh, it's, it's just to kind of line up your icons. So, I mean, a 1080 by 1080, I'm going to actually shrink it down a little bit. Um, so, there we are. And I'll just lock it for now. And actually, unlock it. I will just make this a stroke. So, there's kind of my guide layer. I can make it a guide layer, but really, what's the point? I'm going to use it for like a second. Um, and next thing I want to do is create my null. And it's right in the center there, so that's good. Um, and actually, what I want to do, I'm. I'm I'm not sure if this matters or not, but I'm going to reposition the anchor point right to the center of the null. And I'm going to push this right in the center. Because that's just how I like to roll. So yeah, 960. At 540. So that's going to be my kind of rotator. It's kind of like uh, if this was a wheel, and that's going to be the, I don't know, I don't even know what you call that thing right in the center there. It's going to be the thing that spins it. <laughs> uh, so now I have my icon, one of my icons, and I'm going to shrink it down significantly. Uh, the cool thing about this is you can end up adding as many as you want. So uh, I'm going to just kind of roughly line it up with this circle here. And I'm just going to make a bunch of copies. Oops. Kind of like a clock or something. Actually, let's just do something fun and just not line them up all together. So, alright. We got my null at the top. We got like, what, eight different icons. They're all right side up. I want them to spin with this null. Um, first thing I'm going to do is parent these icons to the null. So now if I rotate them, boom, it's rotating with the null. Big deal. Uh, right? So I need to, you know, kind of set up an auto rotation for this null. Um, so I'm going to do that with an expression. Time times 25 like I did in the last video. And now we got a nice steady rotation to the right, uh, clockwise if you will. But they're all spinning, as you can see. That's why I put the stripe there to begin with. So that's just no good. And actually, this is just confusing. So put these along the circle. And at this point, the circle is no longer needed. It served its purpose. We can draw it again if we need to. Um, so I got these icons. I got this null. Um, so really, what I want to do is go back to the beginning, and I want to, I got to mess with the rotation here. So what I want to do is tie this rotation to this rotation, and then reverse it. So if I create an expression, and take a pick whip, and now, and if I solo this, I have like it rotating around the circle, but it's also rotating clockwise as well, which could be what you want. That could be like a, a cool effect. Like it's got some kind of like weird gravity thing going on. Um, for this purpose, this is not what I want. Um, I want to actually, and, and actually you could do some crazy stuff with this. I'll show you in a minute, but I'm just going to multiply this by negative one. It's going to create the exact opposite value. You see, plus 22, minus 22, 
and it's going to just remain right side up the entire time which is great which is what we want um, you could get crazy and times it by 20 then you got some some real orbity type things going on you can get real kind of astronomical with it or you can make it negative 10 and flip them back really cool stuff but for our purposes negative one is great keeps it right side up right um, so now I got this one that's right side up and the rest are moving with it so I need to copy this expression uh, throughout um, so if I select this edit um, actually select the rotation copy expression only select the rest and paste it's just going to copy that expression and paste it and now we're good that is exactly what we want um, so yeah you can get really creative with what's in these things and another thing you can do which is called we call this Ferris wheel totally butchered that fair is wheel um, gonna pre-count this put it into another composition call this Ferris wheel main and Ferris wheel 01 terrible organization but you know kind of doing this on the fly here um, duplicate this and now you can go in here and with your duplicate and do something crazy with the rotation like make it negative 50 kind of double reverse speed and then pull it into your main comp shrink it down a little bit and now you can start to see you're, you're gonna be getting something like a little bit more uh, complicated with just like with like you know just this little like circle thing so kind of fun and kind of a neat effect and for my purpose like you know uh, company I work for has a lot of different icons that need to be displayed if I were to flip them upside down it really wouldn't be very clear in what I was communicating so uh, this is just another great way you know there's grids there's uh, you can do things in horizontal lines vertical lines but uh, circular kind of thing is kind of cool too so have fun with this uh, and I'll see you next time